After being a staunch Meghan Markle supporter for years, Peter Andre has admitted he feels it's getting harder to defend the former royal following her interview with Ellen DeGeneres. The Duchess of Sussex appeared in an episode of the final season of The Ellen Show LSAT Week to discuss her life, her humanitarian work as well as everything in between. Although it seemed the audience and most people enjoyed watching the wholesome interview, some stars in the UK felt differently. The mysterious girl singer took to his column in New Magazine to share his feelings on the star doing an interview with the controversial chat show host. It's a tough one with Meghan and Prince Harry. I've always stuck up for them, but I do think some of the choices that are being made are not great, he wrote. I want to support them but they're making it quite difficult for people. Peter isn't the only star who shared their two cents on Meghan sitting down for a chat with Ellen. Lorraine Kelly recently said she thought Meghan's stunt on Ellen didn't work. Speaking on ITV, she said, it's a strange one isn't it, you're right, you wouldn't see Kate do that but they are distancing themselves from the royal family. I think what she's trying to do with paid leave for parents is actually a really good thing. I think the sort of stunt didn't really work for me, she added, commenting on Meghan's skit. The skit saw her drink milk out of a baby's bottle, eat crisps like a chipmunk and meow like a cat. In the other hand, the veteran broadcaster, 71, was back on TV last night for another series of University Challenge on BBC Two. The second round of the quiz competition continued as two more teams of university students battled it out in a bid to grab a quarter-final spot. Mr Paxman is well known for his robust interrogations of politicians and other public figures. The journalist was at the helm of the BBC's current affairs programme Newsnight for 25 years. As well as firing tough questions at politicians, Mr Paxman has also been critical of members of the royal family. He previously appeared to warn Meghan Markle about marrying into the firm ahead of her wedding to Prince Harry. The journalist spoke for the documentary, The Royal Wives of Windsor on Netflix, released in May 2018, before Meghan and Harry tied the knot. He said, Every girl dreams of being a princess and actually I don't think you want to become a princess if you can avoid it. Other commentators also provided their opinions about how Meghan would slot into the royal family. Speaking about the family, royal biographer Penny Jenner said, They're quite strong characters, they're quite opinionated and they're quite outspoken. Historian Kate Williams added, Meghan is marrying into a very strange institution. It's one that she hasn't seen at close quarters all her life because she is American. In the past, Mr Paxman has expressed confidence that Prince Charles will not inflict his views on the public once he is king. The journalist's comments about the Prince of Wales came at an event at the Buxton International Festival in Derbyshire in 2017. Mr Paxman told a crowd he was a monarchist because it is better than any alternatives. He said, We'd have ended up with a president, Tony. Blair or something awful like that. I have had to come out as a monarchist now because I am one. He added, people say to me, but what about Prince Charles? My answer is it's going to be a big problem when we get Prince Charles, if he behaves as Prince Charles. But I don't think he will, the role is different. We shan't have his view on talking to trees or whatever inflicted upon us when he's monarch, but when he's the Prince of Wales he can do what he likes. Charles has sparked major criticism in the past for appearing to lobby politicians on the environment, as well as for showing his support for controversial causes, such as his endorsement of homeopathy. Charles denied that he will be a meddling monarch when he was interviewed for the BBC documentary Prince, Son and Heir, Charles at 70 in 2018. The Prince of Wales said he wasn't that stupid to continue acting the way he does in his current role once he becomes king.